I would love to share this with us to bless us. I was, I am, um, I am in the consciousness of um, having this word go to all of us. This year wouldn't be so easy and simple. I get what I'm saying now. But with the with the Lord on our side, every and anything is possible. And we are capable of fulfilling and doing everything. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Because our hope is in Him more than our possessions and self. Amen. I saw a vision. few hours after midnight in prayer. I was praying about the content of this year. What are we supposed to look out for as people of God? I prayed for few, not, 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 I didn't pray lengthy. But the major thing I saw it was very, very interesting. And we need to work very hard. Within this year, as a church, as individuals, as human beings, we are going to be faced with many challenges. Now listen. Although we're going to pray, but let us be very focused. Do you get what I'm saying? Although we're going to pray, but let us be very focused. Because this year, many are going to be disappointed. Many are going to be deceived. And many are going to be turned down. There are people who will backslide and who will withdraw. Pain, 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 pain. Betrayal is going to be common. Because the snake is at work. The war of the church is going to be church against church. Member against member. And the people who are going to be used by the enemy to work on his behalf are not outsiders but insiders. There are many who will give up on God and give up on his church. So let us be careful. There are some because of what people will say what you will be hearing, you will be offended. And this will be like conspiracy. This will be like accusations. So there are many who will give up on the church and will be tired and might leave. Because the accusations are going to be more and this is De designed to deceive. So there are going to be huge deceptions. And if we are not careful, many of us will be carried away by what we hear. Trust is going to be broken. Loyalty is going to be overlooked because of self. Let us remember Senegal in prayer. Let's remember Senegal. Let's remember Mali. Let's remember Cote d'Ivoire. Let's remember Senegal. Let's remember Mali. Let's remember Cote d'Ivoire in prayer. Are you getting what I'm saying now? U.S. wouldn't find it easy. United States of America wouldn't find it easy. 
I'm looking at their flag and this their flag is just getting torn and getting weak. The fabric of the flag is growing weaker. Let's pray for them. Let's pray for them. There is a weakness that will open doors to frustrate this mission. That will fight this mission. Let's remember them in praise. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now? Let's remember them in praise. I don't know what is going to happen, but don't forget to pray for Akosombo. Let's not stop. Pray for Akosombo. I don't know what is going to happen. But let's pray for Akosobo. Remember that town in prayer. Anything that is capable of happening over there that will affect many people. May the Lord help us. And may the Lord deliver us. There is a fierce anger. There is a fierce anger that will remain in the authority of our nation. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Powers are going to battle powers. Powers are going to battle powers. Authorities are going to fight authorities. There is a strong anger at the top of our nation. And this will disturb and destroy a lot of things. This is gradually cooking wickedness. This is gradually cooking wickedness. Let us pray for our country, our leadership, and top powers. I'm seeing anger. Anger that will not be afraid of confusion. Anger that will not be afraid to spill blood. Anger that will not be afraid. To destroy one another. Anger, anger, anger. This is not an ordinary anger. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. There are a lot of plans among nations that will have their manifestation within this year. There are certain thoughts and plans of certain nations and group of nations. This year will be the year ripe for their manifestations of certain agenda they have planned privately. Anger will take over the world. Pain will take over the world. People will be offended all over the world. People will be angry all over the world. You will see quarrel and misunderstanding on social media and all over the world. And you will not understand. Demonstrations. 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 Demonstrations are going to get up again. So let us pray. Pray for Greece. Pray for Greece. Pray for Greece. Pray for Greece. May the Lord help us. Clap for Jesus. Today I want to talk about something unusual. I want to talk about offenses. I'm not going to talk about forgiveness. I'm going to talk about offenses. I just want to talk about misunderstanding and how we're going to keep it rather than doing it and then seeking for forgiveness. I want to talk about quarrel, fight. I just want to talk about it. Because it will bless us as a church. Offense is the act. Offended is the reaction. Are you getting what I'm saying? So look at something. 
When we talk about offenses, we are talking about the act. In your own way, how do you see offenses? How do you understand offenses? What, what does it mean to be what does it mean to be offended? Uh huh. What What can be from one to anybody? Can someone help us? Uh huh. Tell me. Tell me now. Let's say, let's talk now. Okay. Let me listen to my sister and daughter. Uh huh. Good. Good. Why a baby? I won't hear the name. MP. Ann, can you help us? Can you help us? When? Uh huh. Offense. Be out for more on your body. Microphone, Uncle One, okay. Uh-huh. But a walk on as a bun. Walk on as a bun. Okay, good. Uh huh. Uh huh. Let's listen to our sister Babs. Yeah, when you in Jehovah. The be at the Subani be there while the wind wire then in Jehovah. Uh huh. Last one. Last one. Offenses. From okay, let's listen to our brother. Yes, if I had that MP, none you pay in a jitum that had that new panic annoyed in it. Oh, yeah. When do we say somebody's offended? When do we say that? The question look alike, right? When do we say you have offended somebody? Uh-huh. Only two people. I want two people. Two people. Just one, 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 one. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, like one about the energy, the power from no, no, the power from uh-huh. the BBA, I don't know, I don't know, on pay, clap for Jesus. When we talk about offenses, three people involved the one who who offended, and the one who is offended, and, and the offense itself. Now, let me show you something interesting. We often deal with the one who offended and the one who is offended and don't deal with the offense. Do you get what I'm saying now? We often deal with the one who offended us and we the ones who are offended but we don't deal with the offenses themselves. Why? Because we always focus on the now and not the verb. We focus on the man and not the act. Do you get me? We focus on the man and not the act. We focus on the human being and not the act. So the problem is that forgiveness Asking for forgiveness has become the franchise to the increment of offenses. In the book of Matthew 24, the word of God says that because iniquity shall abound, the love of many will die. So what is capable of killing love in the church and in the world? Listen to this now. Listen to this now. What is capable of killing love is not the devil. But iniquities. Iniquities are just the act. And not the actor. (laughs) 
So the problem is not with the actor. The problem is with the act. The problem is not the one who offended. And not the one who is offended. But the offenses. Now, if we focus on the one who offended, forgiveness will be impossible. And then those who have offended, when they also focus on forgiveness, offenses will increase. Listen, when offenses increase, love also dies. When we keep offending, we don't die. But what gives us life will die. Meaning we die through losing what gives us life. And that is love. So look at something interesting. We often go to the man. We offended. And then we often also approach the man who offended. But nobody approaches the act itself. Because we cannot see the act. But we see the actor. Remember. Forgiveness is a powerful tool. In the one who is offended. And not the one who has offended. Listen to this carefully. Forgiveness is a powerful tool in the hands of the offended or not the one who offended. So, forgiveness is not in the care of the one who offended. It is in the, in the hands of the one who, who is offended. So, the power to forgive it's not a tool to the one who offended. But it is in the hands of the one who is offended. He is the only one who contains forgiveness at that moment. Not the one. Not the one. Not the one who offended. So those who offend or who have offended, if they focus on forgiveness, it will be difficult for them to attract one. Because offenses will grow. When we always see forgiveness as the key. When I do it, I will be forgiven. So I will do it. It is not like that. You don't get forgiven over here by God when you offend your brother. If not so, God wouldn't say we should forgive as many as possible and as often as possible. Because if man is not forgiving, God cannot forgive. Do you understand my language? Why would he say go and ask for forgiveness? remember this scripture it is very broad in the book of Matthew whatever that is bound over here is bound over there whatever that is loosed over here is loosed over there what does that mean it means if a man is not doing anything God is also doing nothing if God if man does something God also performs something so, it means that the totality of our lives is in our care. The ability to arrest every problem and principality is in our care. Meaning that God relies on our confession for his manifestation. That is until man speaks, God is quiet. So, the activities of God are embedded in the, in the, in the activity of men. So what men do is what causes God to act. So God's act is in, is, is, in, is, in, is, in, is in what men do. Because men's act or a man's act is what causes God who brings the thing to pass to also manifest. So the secret is that if a man is not forgiving it will be difficult for God to also forgive. Why would you think that 
the angel appeared to Hagar and told him, go to your mistress and apologize. If Hagar had not begged, it wouldn't have gone well with him. Do you get what I'm saying now? Do you get what I'm saying now? So, look at something interesting. Any time we feel like Oh, I will be forgiven. It causes us to offend the more. Anytime you claim that I deserve to be forgiven, it is an arena where arrogance is, is, is specifically portrayed. In this hour, when you go asking for forgiveness, it is not remorseful. It is of pretense. Because anyone who has offended does not decide forgiveness. But the one who is offended. Do you understand my language? Do you understand my language? Hallelujah. Now listen to this. When the one offended when the one offended chooses to forgive God also forgives because this is not a matter between God and man it is a, it is a, it is a matter between man and man every principle God laid it's not for God and man. It is for man and man. Thou shalt not steal. Who can steal from God? Tell me tight. Check the scriptures. Who are those God gave tight to? So it's no longer his. Who can kill God that God said thou shalt not kill? Every principle, every law God laid down is for a harmonious living among humans and not God and man. Harmony between men is harmony between man and God. Are you here with me now? Do you understand my language? So, when the one offended chooses to forgive, remember, remember, if there is any reward concerning forgiveness, it is the offended who receives, not the one who offended. The only reward the one who has offended needs is the gift of forgiveness. And, the, and one thing people don't know about forgiveness is this. They think that as far as I have wronged you, I deserve to be forgiven. Forgiveness does not come out of... Listen, it does not come as a right. It is out of grace and privilege. Therefore, anyone who refuses to forgive has caused God to stop, has caused God to, to, has caused God not to forgive you. And the only problem the one who is unforgiving will encounter is that he will also not be forgiving. That is it. That is the problem he will be facing. God will also not be forgiving towards him. When it happens like that. But the secret thing is. If you always want to base on forgiveness. To make mistakes. And offend people. This is what you are going to do. You no longer obtain mercy. You will be a cast out. Why? They know this is who you are. You choose to offend. You have no. Mentality of correcting what you have done. This is where offenses come in. When we focus on the one who, has, who is offended, we are only focus on, focusing on him for forgiveness. When we focus on the one who is, 
who, who offended. We only try to cite them to talk to the one who is offended. But what can stop the whole thing from happening or repeating? We don't deal with that is offenses. We cannot deal with offenses through forgiveness. We only establish relationship through forgiveness and not the denial of offenses. So, this is what we need to do. When we offend, our interest should not be forgiveness. Our interest is to check what happened. Why did I do that? What caused me to do so? And then learn to correct. Because when we don't correct them, and then we allow them to be rampant, love will be uncommon. And there we will suffer. Because where you need mercy and love, you will have none to show you. Because in this life, favor is not the friend of anybody. And the word favor simply means looking like what you don't look like. Possessing what you don't deserve. This tells you that whatever you are receiving out of favor is not your portion because you don't have the qualification for and in the absence of love favor is weak are you here with me now are you here with me now so listen to this now we can make mistakes or we will make mistakes. But when we learn to correct our faults, it grows love. Anytime you say, I am sorry, it is not powerful. But when you are able to stop repeating what causes you to say sorry, it becomes a sign that you are willing for a change. Therefore, when people want to show forgiveness it won't be a difficulty let me show you a scripture that causes us to be familiar with offenses more than correcting our faults proverbs 13 verse 10 Praise the Lord. Are we that? Are we that? Celebrate Jesus. I want you to listen to this message. It will heal your relationship. It will heal your friendship. It will heal your ministry. It will heal your business. It will heal everything about your life. Do you get me? Okay. Proverbs 13 verse 10. It says, By pride comes nothing but strife. But with the well advised is wisdom. I want to have other contemporary versions. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, NIV. Okay. Okay. There is strife, there is pride. It's a where there is strife, there is what? Pride. Baby a hantan wonu akasakasa na ham. Usu ye dene. Uho. Aha. But wisdom is found in those who take advice. Na nyansa bata wana wote afutu. Wote kasa. Okay, can I have another version? Okay, this one says. Sorry. Pride only breeds quarrels. But wisdom is found in those who take advice. Uh -huh. Can I have another? If you have contemporary, I want us to read all the versions and then we come to the work. Uh -huh. Easy English. Uh -huh. A person who boasts only cause trouble. But if you accept good advice, you show that you are a wife. Uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. Can I get more? He said, pride leads to conflict. Those who take advice are wise. Uh, do we have more? Do we have more? Do we have more? Too much pride causes trouble. A hantani pino or the how nam be sensible into we answer and take advice. Nafa a futu. Uh are we done? True pride and presumption. Is that listen to this? Is this what? True pride and presumption comes nothing but strife. It says true what? Pride and presumption. True pride and what? Presumption. Through pride and presumptions, what happened? Comes nothing but pride. Comes nothing but what? Strife. strife. But skillful and godly wisdom. Sorry. But skillful and godly wisdom is with those who welcome well advice. But skillful and godly, godly wisdom is with those who welcome well advice. Are with those who listen to good advice and counsel. And counsel. Clap for Jesus. He says, by insolence, the heedless make strife. But with those who take advice, is wisdom. It's wisdom. We're going to work with what we have over here. But I love these words. Because they're going to help us. And I'll teach you something. And we're going to learn something about pride. According to dictionaries, when we listen to pride, pride is just like a feeling, a good feeling you have for yourself. We have pride one, pride two, pride three. You get what I'm saying now? The, the same pride means a lot of things. But one of them is this. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Now, when we talk about pride, the pride we are talking over here, it's not a good feeling you have because you have achieved something or you have done something wonderful and beautiful. Do, do you get what I'm saying do you get what I'm saying now? Beautiful. Now, this pride we are talking about is arrogance. Are you hearing me now? When we talk about arrogance, it is when you are when, when you over over hype yourself above others. And due to that, you see yourself to be more important than everyone and everything. Simple put. You feel better everywhere you find yourself. You feel superior over superior. You convince yourself that you are better in your head. You are over superior. You are better. You are far. You are you are far ahead of almost everyone. Due to that mentality, you don't value your neighbor. You don't value any. Because of that, you can't honor people. You feel humiliated honoring people. You feel humiliation in humility. Practicing humility is a humiliation. You feel so bad honoring men and not yourself. So every day you carry yourself above everyone. That is the kind of um, pride we are talking about. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, now look at what the Bible says. He says, by this, when we talk about pride, it is not a feeling, although the dictionary and other books describe it as a feeling. It is a mentality. And if you want to define a person's character, don't look at their doings. Look at their mentality. If you want to identify the mentality of men, check the way they talk. When a man over talks, he exposes himself on a way. So allow people to talk and over talk and you will know who they are. There are certain times if you want to know that you have problem with arrogance. Check how you present yourself in discussions. 
You almost put yourself there when we are talking about other people. It is difficult to fully talk about people without talking about yourself. Whilst we are saying that this guy is good, you were intentionally fixing something. Now will tell us that in fact, oh yeah, we have been there before. Those stars were also doing it then. You have fear of honoring people. You are, you are afraid to let people feel that this guy is also better than you. You have a problem. We say, oh, in fact, God uses this man of gold. He's very powerful. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah, it's true. God uses him powerfully. Even the other time I attended a program and immediately I spoke. Things started happening. We are not talking about you. It is not about you. We, we, there is nothing. There is nothing in line with what. There is nothing in line with you concerning what we are talking about. You always want to indulge yourself. You, you, talk, you like talking about yourself more than any other person. Even when you want to talk about God, you, 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 you want to sometimes push away God and put your name there. He said, in fact, in God, in fact, somebody say, hmm, in fact, God has been good to you. My brother, yes, it's true, it's God, but you don't know the, the kind of hard work we put in. You are afraid to accept that fact. Check this now. Almost all of us over here, we do them. We do that. It's true. God is God. God is doing well. But you don't know the kind of hustling we are, we are, we are, we are, we are putting ourselves through. You are afraid. Immediately they tell you somebody is beautiful. You think they have told you you are ugly. It is arrogance. It is pride. Oh, today you are looking great. You are looking beautiful. Then you feel offended because you were not told the same. Meaning if the person hadn't said anything, you would have been okay. But because he told your closest neighbor you are looking great. You are handsome. You are beautiful. In fact, you are blessed. And you were not told the same. You kept quiet and started fighting yourself with him and hating the person. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So there is no problem. The problem of the person is the problem of the person is praising your closest neighbor and not you. These are people who can't accept blame. Can't accept blame. When you are arrogant, anytime you are wrong, you want to push blame on something. Place blame on something. When you do something good, you want the whole world to know. When you do something bad, you don't want anybody to know. So arrogance disturbs confession. Therefore, many in mental slavery and secret faults. Ego tames the power of their mind. But if, if you listen to them and be humble, you have insulted yourself. Let me tell you the real meaning of offenses. The real meaning of, of offenses. The real meaning of offenses is just law. You will never feel offended if you have not made the law. Think. The reason why you beat that child was because you told the child not to touch that thing. If you hadn't told him to touch that thing, touching it wouldn't have been a problem. True or false? True or false? Anytime we feel offended is because people crossed our line. Sometimes it is not wrong. But because you have your laws, it is wrong. Hey, hey, hey. Stop what you're doing now. Why are you behaving like that? In public. 
He, the person did not insult you. He only told you to stop what you are doing. You feel offended. And you go deep and realize it is not the act of the man. It is the law on your mind. What is your law? What is the law? The law says that you don't talk to me anyhow publicly. So whether I am at fault or not, you don't have the right to talk to me that way. So I will also backfire. I will also retaliate. I will rebel. And when I am asked, I have a reason for my foolery. Ah, but what is it? So why, why are you attacking? Why are you hating him? In fact, although I was wrong, you knew you are wrong. Although I was wrong, but he's not supposed to talk to me this way. If you know how people should talk to you, and you don't know how not to make mistakes, then I think you are not real. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now? Yes. And can't go. Because he took me to the house and he took me to the house. He took me to the house and he took to the house. He took me to the house and he took me to Do you understand what I'm saying? Now? So, these laws and mentality, the laws are the mentality we have created. There are some of us, immediately we see people driving expensive cars and expensive clothes. And they are in expensive clothes. We, 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 we humble ourselves without any teaching class. Why? Because according to your mentality, according to your mentality, any part, any, any person who appears that way is somebody you honor. That is your mentality. So when you meet somebody who is not putting on expensive clothes and not in expensive cars, you don't respect. You talk to them anyhow. Now, this mentality is not causing our, it's not causing, listen now, it's not causing humility to be an attitude. It is making us practice the attitude with a condition. Although it has become an attitude. But the attitude you created came as a result of your thinking. It came as a result of your mentality. It is the reason why we look at things and define them in our own way. Then at the end of the day, when they get things wrong or things don't go well, we feel that we have been disappointed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go to the board now. He said, by pride comes nothing but strife. But with the, with the well advised is wisdom. Let's put this over here. He says, through pride and presumption come nothing but strife. One major characteristic of arrogance is presumption. Presuming. One major characteristic of arrogance is presumption. Presumption is not evil, but it is not reliable. Sometimes you'll be talking to people and when they are looking for a way to escape offense. No, I am there. My dream I am there. I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought. Do you know the next act that you are thinking for the person? Are you getting what I'm saying now? We always presume that look at something. 
from the way he is talking, I know he wouldn't talk to me again. But the person never said I won't talk to him. From the way he is angry, I know when I go to him or her, I wouldn't be accepted. From the way he is troubled, I know he wouldn't come here again. From the that the, 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 when we when we talk about presuming something, it is just like assuming the thing before happening. The whole thing has not happened. The whole thing has not happened. I've already created one that this is how it's going to be. Yet you don't have evidence. So, when you are told to do this, he said, I didn't do it because the other time you did it that way and, and, and I, 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 I was expecting that um, 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 you would like what I did. But you were given the way to do it. And you chose to do it your way. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Because you were forethinking that, oh, so why are you doing a different thing over here it is a true sign of arrogance if you think you wanted to do it another way why didn't you call the person and tell him you know i had wanted to do it your way but thinking of um, come to think of the whole thing. If I do it this way, it won't work for us. So what do you what do you suggest? I want to do it another way. That is humility. Do you understand? So look at this. He said, "By pride comes nothing but strife." He said, "Through pride and presumption come nothing by strife." So the problem. It's not the quarrel. It's not the fight. The problem is this character. And one thing about this character is it is always thinking ahead of time. Not with a foresight. But thinking in the wrong way. Creating things that don't exist in the wrong way. The way you are in any do I mention you feel too big because you're expecting a particular facial expression then when you ask why didn't you you quickly presumed you quickly judge and one thing that is so dangerous about presumptions in a wrong way is that we judge things before they happen therefore it causes us to commit a lot of mistakes do you get what I'm saying now do you get what I'm saying now so listen to this now anytime we leave this character of pride and arrogance we lift ourselves up we raise ourselves above others. Due to that arrogance, there will always be trouble. There will always be fighting. How? That thing has not happened, but you have already created them. Presuming. Two, you feel bigger than everyone. So even when you are wrong, saying sorry is impossible. And again, Saying sorry remorsefully is also impossible. In but my It isn't anything serious. But because of your ego, you can make it become another problem. When you meet people who, there are certain people, or any little thing they want you. They always want to be right. They always want to be right. They know, they, 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 they are aware this is not it. But because they think what they know is better than everyone. They always try to make people 
like I know better than you do. So even when they are wrong and you tell them, oh, this is not how we pronounce the word. This is not how we do it. I know, I know. Ah, uh, please, let's try this way. Who are you? Do you know me? Do I know you? It's not done this way. You will get it wrong. I won't get it wrong. When did you start doing this? Do you know the years I've been doing this? You know your problem. It is not changing what you your way of doing it to do it the way the person is telling you. You feel disrespected that what you know is not on it. But you become more knowledgeable if you try to practice what they are telling you. If it is wrong, then yours is right. If it is right, knowledge is When arrogance takes over us, we even have a reason for not saying sorry. After offenses, we have a... You, we, we easily get tired saying sorry because we think it is a humiliation. Me or four people going down on my knees and you are still not accepting my apology. Ego always makes you feel like you are too better to go down on your knees. You are too huge to say sorry to this person. Because in your head, you have lifted up yourself. And almost every little thing be away. Everything irritates them. You ask them, please, how are you doing? Um, everything irritates them. Everything irritates them. They don't know how to solve problems. But they create one. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Instead of knowing the right thing to do, they will do the wrong thing and defend it. All these things are signs of arrogance. There is no problem with you going forward to find out. Please, I want to do it this way. Is it okay? Is it right for me to do it? Did you? you don't lose anything. Anytime you see people very defensive, understand they are not ready for a change. They only want to protect their ego from humiliation. So what they are trying to do is they always want to find a wall that will maintain them in that situation. One secret in this life is anybody who holds on so much to the ego does not go anywhere. There is no seat for you over here on earth. Because even when God wants to lift you up, men will bring you down. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Let's finish up now. So it says, by pride comes what? Nothing but strife. But with, with, but with the well advice is wisdom. So, if, if there is no pride, there is no strife. The reason for strife, contentions and misunderstanding to erupt among groups and relationships is not because of wrong. It is because of a character. Because automatically, we will all make mistakes. We will all go wrong. But how we handle our faults and how we handle the person we have wronged and how we handle the act we perform is what tells the future of that act. So, going deep down, there is no strife if there is no pride. When we stop presuming, presuming, 
This time you want to be made and I'm not a shark. It is you be this mentality you are you, you you are not seeing through any tv or any camera you don't have any raw evidence of what you are thinking but you have created that already so immediately he comes you know the answer you're going to give to him immediately he greets so immediately the man enters reaction and demeanor tells the man that there is a problem. You don't even know where you are coming from. But because your thought is telling you they came from this place or he's coming from that place you have created a mood in the home. Over here the devil has not entered the house. It is evil that has entered you. Since evil is in you, you are the devil of the house. Are you getting what I'm saying now? When we say devil, it is the doer of evil. So until you contain evil, you cannot do evil. So you become the devil when you permit evil to stay. Because your home was peaceful. But because of your presumptions, so instead of giving the person a good treatment, you become a devil giving a bad treatment. At the end of the day, you preach yourself like an angel. Angels don't identify themselves. Because when you see them, you will know them. They don't need to talk. Immediately you see them. They are presence alone will tell you who they are. But some of us, because of ego and arrogance, we always want people to think we are angels. What you are causing people to think is not good of you. It is a disappointment you are putting before them. Because the more you make people think that you are the best, and you are unable to deliver your best, you have disappointed them. Immediately, your woman had a call. No, 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 no. He, she's talking to a man. Do you have evidence? Do you have evidence? From the way she's laughing. And it's as if that man makes him happier, happier than, 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 than I do. I know definitely she's talking to a man. No, she's talking to a man. I know, I know. I'm aware. I know. I know. No, you're in the call now. Do you get what I'm saying now? Nothing has happened. But within your mind, you have presumed. Because the mannerism is what you are listening and not the man himself. So, you have concluded. Because you have concluded, no matter what they will say, you won't believe them. Because you believe yourself more than every any other person. More than any other person. So, what they tell you, oh, I was talking to my sister. Oh, sister, we're in my mutual phone. And I said, now, man, so on your saved. That number is not saved. They're going to be like, ah, now you don't see now you don't save their numbers. Now your contact don't have names. Do you know your problem? Do you know your problem? Your problem is this. You love people so much. And you don't want them, you don't want to lose them to anybody. But instead of telling them you love them, your ego is creating problems between them. And that arrogance is what is going to make you lose them. We are afraid to say I need you. We are afraid to say I love you. We are afraid to say I don't want to lose you. I just want to be with you. I don't want you to go anywhere. That is why I'm always trying. I'm also I'm always trying to monitor you. Do you know why I'm doing all these things? It is not that I hate you. I am afraid of losing you. Tell them the truth and stop allowing your ego to disturb your marriage and relationship. You know, yes, yes, 
you know that at the workplace this lady this man is the reason why the business is moving forward but you are unable to go forward and tell them because you think when you tell them they will be arrogant you are rather arrogant because your first impression tells the dominant thoughts are you getting what I'm saying now? Your first impression tells your dominant thought. So for thinking that or you're arrogant means you're arrogant. So you're arrogant. Ah, maybe all you do. Me employee do a good do. Me employ you a good do. The way all you do, my crap, me no aji. You mean show what? Keep on doing the work. You can keep on be show. These things that you are doing will let the person stay, but not praising them, not appreciating them, will cause them to leave. The only thing you think about. Okay, me that for some. Okay, me for some. Did you see anything? Do you have any evidence? What, what is your evidence? The only thing you are trying to do is this. The only thing you are trying to do is this. You are trying to make them feel that they are at fault. Meanwhile, there is no problem. You are the fault. Where is the fault? Your mentality has a fault. And because you have a mental problem, you have become the problem of the home. If you can think evil, then you are the nearest devil. Do you get what I'm saying now? Do you get what I'm saying now? Let me tell you something now. Let me tell you something now. The beginning of the, of the strife is not the misunderstanding. Okay, let me put it this way. The beginning of the strife is not the quarrel. It is what's on the mind. Sometimes, huh? Sit your wife down. Sit your woman down. Set your partner down. There is something I want to tell you. I've been seeing you talking to this person. But I always feel bad. Seeing you talk to this person. I am afraid. I don't hate you. I don't hate him. But I'm afraid that you will like him more than you do to me. I want you to stay. I need you. Don't go anywhere. I don't know what is going on between you, the two of you, but please don't let anything go on. Minimize it if it's not healthy. If it's healthy, fine. Please, if you are wise, you will not struggle saying this to your partner. And if you're able to talk to them like this, it will shock you. It will be hard for them to do something evil behind your back. But when you start like Oroko, baby Oroko Numbonu, or you won't see in Oroko. Are you getting what I'm saying now? That is why I don't believe in jealousy. Defining love. Jealousy doesn't define love. It defines selfishness. Jealousy will cause you to hate an innocent person. Why are you talking to my wife? Why are you talking to my husband? When they have not met you, they were talking to them. So why are you becoming the stumbling block? Find out if the relationship is not healthy. Let them stop. If it is healthy, let them continue. Ask her to be careful or ask him to be careful. But there is always confusion misunderstanding how can we solve it whilst your mind has not changed the problem is not what one is doing the problem is how you are thinking that is the major problem and living life like that frustrates everything about relationship and there can never be harm among us if you are always thinking for people and don't forget your perception your impressions 
defines your dominant thoughts. So if you are able to think this for a person, it is something you would do in his position. Listen to this powerful thing. It says, but with the well advice is wisdom. Listen to this now. This is not the person who is advised. This is a person who receives the good advice and lives by them. The one who accepts pieces of advice is wise. Because such person doesn't know much. Accept the fact that I don't know much. So whatever you tell me, I will receive it and live by them. Such people don't make mistakes. If you are wise today, receive what I'm telling you and see if your marriage, your relationship, your business, and wherever you go to find yourself, you won't become you will be, you won't become the favorite. I was advising, counseling some couple. I was counseling a couple and I told them this. I said, man, I don't know much about you. And I don't know much about your lady. But there is one thing I can tell you about this woman. I've never seen her angry before. I've been with her for many years. But I've never seen her angry before. Maybe he gets angry but not around me but i've never seen nobody has reported your your lady to me in this church before that is my observation but when we get to the point where we don't even know what is going on Go to the person and find out. Stop sitting down and thinking and concluding. There are certain relationships your friends, your people are having and in your life. When those relationships are broken, your home will break as well. And there are certain arena in people's life when you temper with it will be the end of your relationship with them. Let me tell you how to handle offenses. Don't focus on the one who offended. And don't focus only also on the one who is offended. You, the one who offended, focus on the offenses. Make sure you won't repeat it. After forgiveness or unforgiveness. Make sure you won't repeat it. People will stay happy with you when you become the channel of their peace. But nobody will be with you when you become the channel of their confusion. When you see something about your brother, it's either you forget it or you go forward, please. Is everything okay? Show concern. Show concern. Show concern. Don't go in there for information. You will be shallow minded to go in purposely for information. Show concern. Please, is everything okay? What is going on? You don't seem okay. You've been quiet. Is everything okay? Oh, yeah. I'm fine. Yeah, like your demeanor speaks to me like no cool. If anything, let's go to the man of God and find out and talk to him to, 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 to help. Oh, I'm okay. Okay, then we thank God. That is cool. You heard something. Then he'd be like, I heard this, I heard that. About him. And from the way I'm seeing things, it's true. Have you heard about it too? Nobody will like a person like that. Because it is dangerous to confide in a gossip. It will be a public show. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now? It will be a public show to confide in a gossip. 
to the person. My brother, I, I am seeing changes in. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything is. Are you sure? Please, if anything, let's go see Papa. So we talk to him about it. Peaceful. Don't be interested in the information. Don't be interested in the act. Now, two. When you realize that there is something wrong, and you know you have done something wrong, once loyalty is not when not betrayed people, but it is even how you handle your mistakes towards each other. There are certain people. Listen. Even the strongest and the strictest, uh, sorry, even the strongest and the and the and the skillful and well experienced bodyguards make mistakes. How much more a normal civilian? Let's say, whenever you make mistakes, never answer. Offer your mistakes with lies. Lies are the lies are the first step of betrayal. You can never force men to trust you whilst you are lying to them. When you are wrong, maybe you cannot talk to everyone, but there is one person, two people can approach and tell them. This is my mistakes. This is what I have done. I need help. Because any wrong we cover grows strong to uncover us. Any wrong we cover grows strong to uncover us. In Fumbia, you're the boss, maybe I'm. Yeah, yeah, one who buy no no guy any mass. In Fumbia, you're the boss, ma. You're the power. You're the cat and one cat and one cat and one cat and one. Oh, but don't pen pen do be a obi sawa o anya dam na. Then you are protecting it. The more you protect it, the more you defend it. It, it will expose you. But when you learn to expose your wrongs and mistakes, you quickly become free and get covered. Are you getting what I'm saying now? But where we try to defend in difficult times, we will have nobody helping and siding us. Church, I want to speak this to us. We are Fend one another. But when your fault are told, but when your fault are told, quickly say sorry and ask for forgiveness. And if there is any correction or explanation, you do that later on. Do you get what I'm saying now? In this, we are going to stay together in harmony. But when we try to bridge the gap with excuses. Misunderstanding will be a portion. God knows and understands our frailty. And he is aware that we are not strong enough. Yet he still loves us. Understand your brother is like that. Understand your sister is like that. Let's stop the accusation and start helping one another through correction. Stop calling out names. Stop pointing fingers. Because what you are saying about others can happen to you. There is one thing I told the pastor some time back. An issue happened. An issue happened. And when this issue happened, they were like, Papa, I'm going to tell you, 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 do you know something? Anything can happen to anyone. If it has happened to him, let's defend him. I don't care how it happened. I don't care what he has done. My concern is how we're going to take him out. 
That is this issue. I heard people say, hold on. Oh, it's only one person. They were this and they were that. And this is what and then is the reason why this and that. I said, I don't care what was happening in there. My care is the person. I need the person. And I need him to be saved. Let's work for him. Let's work to get him. Let us not talk about what was happening or what happened. You can make similar mistakes. I can think. If it hasn't happened to me, I don't have to be happy and comfortably talk about others. It is not right. Somebody was making a complaint. This is what I heard about others. This is what I heard. This is what I heard. The next time, the same person did worse than what the person was complaining about. What I want to see. Playing a unia tinim more do could do no bonim. More sans when you are playing sans sufi no bonim by. E and then quatch it. On yenem bra, or would the pitina na chere de or tea a mumuyim and on your papa. Was I no one food them playing a bida? Name him playing no massam. Nanche bound at them playing in one four no qua. They be your more food them playing in no was done that be. In tea no food them playing in. Nasa what food them playing in so qua. On your playing above four about to match a baby a bock on a mum playing now not your baby iron. What I want to say is this. But you are very comfortable. Who could be seen and your problem? Who you need be seen and your problem? But who see one can see if my own done that? Our anine jawanti a young one akra chicken and tukobia. But Jesus, what define your adultery? You know, as Moses be kind, but one can ye Adultery in yada ako for Bessian and Ada. Now, Mom Sam, who be see a bimpo, and now be in the bimpo, now so was so called on Nanada. Think! Think! Those of you talking about on the job training, and not talking about you, you don't even have a job, but the kind of training you embarking on is dangerous. A bit more way, you might have been in a way of exercise. But on a human income now, so training a young or chedi human grima, may be young put. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Think about it with your head. What's him need to make a genie be on ye or your pot or crap? It must soon there may be a uncle ye a blunt ye be a when one or another now pressure now soon and who could anam. But who could look or sack it? Yes, you have been the same non in a casa a problem. I can tell you that when you are born, also pressure no rise. But when you are not a brand new, because you are casa, no will problem. One is you answer phone, no password, no be who. But our baby, you to be messaging, no time to save. And you answer phone, no da. What's happening? She need to buy a drink. Now she have a call, no. And the messages, no. Be in your archive. Be, be, what song, what, what, where save you be? One woman and I mail. Not done on the phone. And the issue was up for a clear. Yako waku me ma, on your clean. Please, if you say you are true. And you have no fault, then means to so bonita. My work will make soon disappear. Say, will be my account for the da. 
who couldn't care me win, intimate me be a can, or would know a dangerous chain it. We are care be me who maka, and need anyone, or yet dangerous, so I wouldn't be dangerous because before a man acts anything, then the thing has dominated the heart. Be patient with one another. Be patient with one another. And let's understand ourselves. If we start the year this way, then we have a future. But if we continue with accusation, if we continue with this negative, there won't be peace. I want to use this platform to say this. The fact that your partner is not monitoring you does not mean that you are at peace. Too much freedom. Too much freedom is full of slavery. I want to be the nipa tungwa sum. Odu baby a wuska door sum. Itumi yanyama on fata. But you want showa? I'm a tumi tina sejen. If she wuska my bed, then best spend the wuska. Children of God, I want to tell you this. For us to dwell in harmony, let us not inculcate the habit of arrogance. Let's be peaceful. Understand one another. Sit together and talk about our issues. Whatever you are not comfortable with, sit your partner down. Talk to them. Babe, this is what is going on. I don't get it. What is happening? Please talk to me. Men force. And when you are asked, don't lie, tell the truth. And you will save something. Let me say this. Let me share this with you. But the woman met her. Assembly see now, I'm going to move a feature. I'm going to solve a trade. You know, I am going to be a part. Yes, sir. I'm going to be a part. I'm going to be a part. I'm going to be a part. But, I'm going to be a part. I'm going to be a part. I'm going to be a part. I realize the master. So, I'm going to be a part. 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 I'm Wong de won ya no no e dena yen yina yen we pay ye nti yem wob wa yen hu ma yen to min jina yen nato. Yan ku ponin shell. Non yo kesi. Uwa chi sestin. Amen.